Hi, Marco. It's so nice to see you. What a year this has been. It's been an exciting year. We can't say it hasn't been exciting. Highs and lows. New York Fashion Week has just ended. And many of the New York biggest names like Marc Jacobs or Oscar de la Renta were missing in the schedule. And others like Michael Kors or Tori Birch, for instance, are planning their own thing at their own time. Many buyers, uh, including yourself, were not able to travel to New York this season. And my question to you was, is, how was to follow New York Fashion Week from Chicago through your screen? Well, I mean, nothing is as incredible as seeing it live. While it isn't the same experience as being in a fashion show, I am grateful to all the designers who have made the effort to actually do an extraordinary setting for uh, what a buy would be for a buyer. You know, I, I think that everybody needed to do their own thing and designers were creating a, you know, magical fantasy in, in, in doing an actual show. I think for those who are sitting it out and figuring out what else they're going to do, I kind of love that too. I love the pause and the reflection. Um, but I do think that having a fashion show to the designer who did a fashion show, if that was important to them, I'm happy they were able to do it. Amazing, yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, despite the difficulties that the pandemic is bringing, I believe that New York, America, still has a huge pool of very talented emerging designers. Was there any emerging designer that really grabbed your attention during this new format of New York Fashion Week? For me, I think any designer working in this time during this pandemic, during this kind of a retail market is a winner, regardless of CFDA or any kind of award. To me, they all deserve an award on the basic level. The fact that they were able to think clearly, not to be afraid to dive into this. I think every designer that's made an effort here is a winner. However, I do have some highlights. Um, I love this young designer. Um, the, the collection is called Duncan. She works in a way that's very Azadine Alaya-ish, that is so pristine and beautiful, but also very wearable and very um, in the moment friendly, whether you're on a Zoom call or if you're at home romping around or if you're going to a meeting, you know, with in a social distancing kind of way, I think she's worked in a medium that has really been extraordinary. I also love Sukena. He is very much like Albert. You know, he's a French designer and he's really, um, he has a very European flair as well. Um, and then, of course, there's Rodarte, which I love time and time again, even in a world that we're living in. These designers, to me, Duncan Sukena and Rodarte, are creating the magic and the hope that one strives for when you're buying and looking at a collection. Fantastic. Ikram, was there any particular look that grabbed your attention? Did you have that wow moment? I did. I had that wow moment with every one of these designers, but I but I have to say, if something can wow you without having to be in the show and to feel and touch the fabric, that piece is probably really good in real life. So there were some, like Duncan did this exquisite, super utilitarian kind of a a poplin dress with pleated cuffs and pleated hemline. And I just thought that was the most beautiful thing. Um, Duncan did these beautiful bow-like shirts and dresses and Rotarte just created magic. I mean, just magic all the way around. What do you think women will want in six months? I know how difficult this question is, but if, if we can make a bet. Right, it's actually not difficult at all. It's women want the notion and the idea that they're going to go places. It doesn't matter. Nobody can deny somebody putting on their makeup 
makeup and doing their hair and getting on a Zoom call and looking fabulous. That's just, you can't deny someone that. And then you can't deny somebody wearing something that they love that makes them feel good. So if it's a dress or a sweater or a shirt or a, you know, a great parka or whatever it is that makes them feel good, I think they're going to want it. But I do think that they want something different than what they experienced in 2020. I think sweatpants and sweat clothes will not be the go-to for most people during the next season. And even if there is another outbreak or there is another shutdown, people are going to want to look good. They're going to want to feel good. Before we close, I have one more question for you, Ikram. Do you think that the sensitivity through which more and more people uh, has finally started looking at certain topics during this pandemic, such as race and gender equality, size inclusivity, do you think this will reflect in the buying of stores? And is there anything that you've been changing your way of buying because of so much things that happened recently? I have to say that I have been a champion of all designers since I opened up my store. And I've definitely championed women designers and I've championed designers of color. What I don't want to see is this moment of hype about uh, highlighting um, for the sake of highlighting to appease the the, the viewer, and then forgetting about it in six months, what I really would love to see is a continuation of fairness and of highlighting and of really nurturing, nurturing talent all across the board. That is what people really need. They need to feel like they're being seen, nurtured, and not just because of, you know, a, a movement, but because it's what's correct. And I'm looking to that um, to make sure that that continues. I will continue to make sure that I will continue to do what I've done for the past 20 some years, owning a crown. Thank you, Ikram. Thank you. Um, I truly hope to see you in person very soon, hopefully in Paris or in Thank Chicago. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.